The one we should applaud today, actually, is Benoit. And uh, yeah. And the reason you're all gathered here today is not because of the ECB, is not because of the fantastically well-selected topic for the conference, it's because of him. And because in the course of his life, he's managed to harness a huge amount of goodwill, of friendship, of support, and of respect and admiration that you all decided to come to beautiful Frankfurt. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to speak for long, Benoit, and I'm certainly not going to uh, steal your thunder, but when you join the ECB, under the leadership of my extraordinary predecessor, President Draghi, dear Mario, we're so pleased that you're here today. The situation was not dramatic, it was tragic. You had to take measures that we simply have forgotten. And I think it was you the other day who mentioned the difference between Greece's spread at the time and now, and it's something like 300 plus basis points difference in that period of time. And, hmm? 3, 000. Sorry, 3,000, of course. <laughs> See, I stand to be corrected, but only by Benoit. <laughs> it only goes to say that I'm going to miss you a great deal. So there might be a few more mistakes along the way. Benoit is not around anymore, ha <laughs> ha. You know, I'm not going to read this paper. I've known Benoit for a long, long time. So have many of you. Bercy, then me at the IMF, you at the ECB. And all along, I have admired your leadership in terms of thinking, in terms of exploring new concepts, in terms of adjusting to the situation. And you had an extremely powerful leader in the person of Mario Draghi. But when he pronounced those now famous words, there had to be some people in the back of the room who actually crunched numbers, looked at how the pipes worked and how it could be most efficient to actually deliver on the mission that he had tasked you with. And I know it was teamwork, your modesty will actually say that, but I also know how much leadership you applied to the process. And it is only due today that it is uh, recognized in the presence of all your friends and colleagues. Some might not have agreed with you at the time, and some might not have agreed with the measures that were taken, and some might still disagree today. But I think there's a general consensus that, thank goodness, it was done at the time. And that's in no small part due to you in terms of the implementation, which actually was never to take place, because OMT is there, but was never used yet was validated by the courts. So if the lawyers are happy with it, we should all be happy. The second memory that I have of you is that of uh, almost the foreign minister of President Draghi. I don't think that there's been one single G7, one single G20, one single Eurogroup, one single ECOFIN, one single of those many meetings that we had around the world to try to address the financial crisis that you did not attend. And the thing about Benoit, as you all know, is that it's not that he did not attend, but he always attended in full. So whenever the meetings, Oli will remember that, and a few others in the room, whenever the meetings ended at three o'clock in the morning, many had left, including myself occasionally. Benoit was still there, checking on the wording, checking on making sure that the intentions that had been expressed by the leaders would actually be delivered. There are not many of those foreign uh, affairs minister or ambassadors who actually do that. So your resilience, your determination, your standing in those instances was remarkable. The last thing I'd like to say about you is about you. Your modesty, your humility only rival your intellectual power and your capacity to lead other people. And those combinations are rare in people. Because not only are you intellectually powerful, and the many books that you've published together with friends here attest to that, but you're also capable of inspiring other people around you, of empowering people around you, of not only 
giving good speeches about diversity, but promoting diversity in your teams. And the fact that the panels, as you will see later today, are very diverse in their composition is really testament to what you really believe in, that every individual is worth what they can actually accomplish if they're given a chance. So for all that, thank you very much, Benoit. I will miss you, many of us will miss you, but as Christine just said, we'll see you around because after all, Basel is not that far and we all often have to go to Basel, so we'll see you again. Thank you, Benoit.